Evangelical platforms are full of games and gimmicks. And there's no doubt what Paul would say to the church of today. He would say, preach Christ and him crucified. Paul told the Corinthians, when I come, and when I came, I didn't come with superiority of speech or wisdom. In fact, I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. See, right there is the clarion call for both the preacher and the pew. If you're a preacher, you gotta preach the cross of Christ. This must be the sun around which every planet orbits. And if you're in the pew, this is what you must demand of your servant leaders. First, we must prioritize the cross. There's nothing wrong with programs in the church, but when it comes to the pulpit, you don't come for the opinions. You don't come for the polls or the politics or the jokes or the jest or the welfare, the social justice, the psychology, the economics, or even the religion. You come to hear the truth of God and anything else prostitutes the pulpit. The simple reality is that your preacher is just a set of vocal cords you know, given by God to pass on truth and we're all here today and gone tomorrow. And God will use us until he's done with us and then it's the next man up. And if our preachers are not opening the book, then they are wasting our time. Second, we must never compromise the cross. And it's right there that the attractional church fails, watering down the message and drawing people in with big stages and big stars and using Sundays to highlight the untold blessings, all the while hiding the cross in the dark corners of small group or Bible study. Make no mistake, that's the devil's work. Countless millions responding to an emotional altar call without knowledge of the true Christ and true sin and true repentance and counting the cost. And last, we must stand proud of the cross. Your generation mocks the cross. The progressive left calls it a hateful symbol of bigotry. The academic halls call it a medieval mysticism and the atheist a crutch for the weak. But we don't back down, for none of that is new. It was 1800 years ago that Tertullian faced the exact same detractors. And he responded by saying, the cross is only foolish if we're judging God by our standard. Because no human would ever invent such an idea. And that's exactly why we should in fact accept it. Because it's so absurd. The foolishness of God is always wiser than men.